Well, hello, students, and welcome to another lesson using Autodesk Inventor Professional 2022. I've already gone through the process of opening up the Autodesk Inventor interface, and I've arrived at the Start Working button. Once you arrive here, just start working. The objective in this assignment is to create a wooden car, and you'll be using two parts to create the car and the first step is actually to create a folder on your drive. Uh, if you're looking at a fresh tab, you'll see up here in the upper right, there's the nine little circles that says Google Apps. If you click that, you'll see Drive is one of the options in this pop-up. Select that, and you want to create a new folder. Folder, and name it Car or Car. You just name it car, wood car if you want. Car is better because it'll be at the top of the list. Create. So you see there, my drive now has a folder called car. Okay, and I don't need to look at that anymore. Uh, what I do need is to start a new standard IPT, and I'm going to create the wheel first. I'll show you a cool way to create the wheel. And... The materials don't necessarily have to look like wood just because it is wood. Kind of like the idea of have, making it out of wood, but also you can make it out of whatever material you like, and including the rubber part of this wheel we're about to make. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch on the XY plane as is customary. Good. There's your X and your Y axis. And I'm going to draw a line across the X axis from origin to the right. And as it moves across, I'm just going to take my hands off the mouse and type in 0.5. You can see it there in the middle of the screen, enter, and then hit escape. And then I'm going to go with a line up the Y axis and it's going to be one inch. So I move it straight up and I type one, enter. And I can use the mouse wheel to zoom out and then go to the right, just a half an inch also, 0.5. So as you can see, Right there in the blue box, it's already highlighted in 0.5. You just go enter. Oops. Well, sorry again. Didn't do it right, but I'm just going to drag it across. Click. There we go. And then hit escape. So if you've got the three lines here, then you move to the arc tool. Remember, hit escape a couple times. Get out of all tools. Then you go up to the... Have your hand by the escape key at a lot. Up pretty much at all times. And then that way you can move quickly between tools. So click the arc tool, and I'm just going to select this upper right corner and down halfway, and I'll see a little dash line. I'm zooming in to show you. Halfway down, you'll see a little dash line, the indicator that you're halfway down, and then it's 90 degrees. Click and just drag it out like a little bit. That represents the bulge of the air. When you when you pump up a tire, you get a bulge in the side of the, top, the rubber. Now I'm going to use <clears throat> lines. So I've moved to the line tool. Remember, hit escape. Hit the line tool, and then you just go in a little bit. This represents the profile of the hubcap. And this is the little groove in between the rubber and the hubcap. And then I'm going to hit escape and actually put a bit of an arc in here for fun. From about here to here. Just let it bulge a little bit. And then I'm going to go in again. And then this time, point all the way down here. The design of this is your choice. Also, interestingly, you can put a rectangle here on the side of your tire, which will represent a white sidewall if you wanted to put that on there. Makes it easier to make it a white sidewall. So I'm gonna then trim these areas here. That's the profile of my wheel and you'll see how it all Turns out when I finish sketch and then revolve, if you've done it right and every line segment connects to every other line segment, it'll revolve around the x-axis and become a wheel. Okay. And now the fun part will be to select a bunch of surfaces here, here, here. I'm holding. Okay. So you want to select, hold the shift key, and then select other surfaces. And I'm Still holding that shift key, but I'm rotating to the back side of the tire. Just make it black too. Hold the shift key. Good. And now that they're all selected, I move to the default list above. 
And once I select that little arrow, I should get a list of all materials. And there is one that's called rubber black you could use. I tend to think that it's very black, so you don't see any highlights. How about smooth black? Let's see. I think smooth black would be more appropriate for my tire. And then here, select the front of this. And if you're really detailed, you can even zoom in and hold the shift key and select this surface. And there's another surface right here. Hold the shift key again. I've selected all of those surfaces to be white. They're painted white, smooth white, I suppose, at the bottom. Smooth, off-white. Let's do that. Yes. And in the center, you could make all chrome. Hold the Shift key. Select, and then you, again, rotate around. You know where the, the little line segments were. Hold the Shift key. Each time you made a line segment, it does create a surface, which can then be... Uh-oh, somehow I selected the caps lock button. Hold the shift key. Make sure you select the surfaces that you want as the hub cap. And I think those are the ones I want. And then a, from this list that says default, select the little arrow, and I'm going to chrome polished. So I'm looking for chrome polished. Voila. For now, here's where I'm going to save it in my folder. Both the body and the wheel must go in the car folder. You select File, Save As. When you get this pop-up, you're going to see, well, in my case, it says car already, but use the up one level folder and green arrow to go up, up, up. Select Remote User, boom, boom. Everything is a double click. G Drive, boom, boom. Car, boom, boom. And down here, it says file name. Name it wheel. W-H-E-E-L. And then save. I believe if you follow that methodology, you should save it correctly. Now you can start a new file. Go file, new, standard IPT, create. I'm going to create the body of the car. Start a 2D sketch. Click the XY plane. The bottom. I'm going to suggest 14 inches as I go across the X, down across the X axis, across the origin, type 14 on the keyboard, and then hit enter and escape a couple times. And zoom back out, because what I want you to do is grab the end of this line with your mouse, your left mouse button, click and drag and just pull it, maybe even try to center it on the, on the Y axis and below the origin. Now I'm going to use Align and hit escape. I'm going to see now I'm hitting escape and I'm changing the tool to arc. So this is the hood. Click, hit escape. And I go back to line, drag a line, click, hit escape, select arc. Maybe bring it down this way, slightly down. Click. There we go. Then I hit escape. Then I go to line. This is my back window. Hit escape. Now I go back to arc. See how I'm, be, I'm able to interchange between the tools by hitting escape. Click, drag a little bit of a hood arc. Click, that's fine. And then here, connect the two. Click, at this point, you can even draw the windows. So I'd select line, maybe draw. There is um, a way to make both of the windows follow the same arc shape like this. Click. Now, you want to draw the line straight across maybe or slant it back like this. Give it a designer look. You can put a couple lines in here. This is this. Oops. Hit escape. It shouldn't be sticking like that. Hopefully, you can get it to. Oops. Sometimes you might have to draw a rectangle like I'm doing here. Select, draw a rectangle, click, hit escape, right click on this one and delete it. Now I want to trim, so I'm going to trim the parts that I don't want here. See how I did that? I've got the shapes. Now I finish sketch and extrude and probably 4.5 inches. 
4.5, we'll, we'll look at it 4.5, 4 4.5. Um, feeling pretty good about the shape of this little sedan. Okay, it's a toy sedan. Okay, now you can start a 2D sketch on the side. Click. And here's where I want to put the wheel well. So I'm going to select right on this line, maybe a little forward of the window. Click. And it should be 2.25. The reason why is because our wheel that we made was two inches in diameter. So now the wheel well has got to be a little bigger so that the wheel doesn't rub on the wheel well. Maybe about here. Click, drag, 2.25. That's two and a quarter inches. And then draw a line across the bottom of each of those two semi or those circles. Click. And here. Click. Click. Hit escape. And then it. Finish sketch, extrude. As you'll see, I'm extruding 4.5 inches. I want to cut. So the second tool on this Boolean tool is the cut. Click. And then you draw, You just put 0.5. That's all you need. OK. There I've cut the wheel wells. OK. Now, what I can do is I'll show you a, tr a new trick. On the back side, start a 2D sketch. Click on the back side. Use project geometry. There's a little arrow. Select the first option. Click. And then move your cursor here over the side of your car. And the, the wheel well from the other side will project across the car. Here's the other one. Click. And again, you have to use a line now. You go to the line tool. Go across the... Hit escape, maybe. Use the line tool a second time. Go bonk. Bonk. Hit escape. Finish sketch. Extrude. And then... Once again, you just use this rotation cube, and then you cut half an inch. OK. There's my body. So you can just go up to the default list, and I'm going to change it to Walnut Natural Polish. It's my wooden car. File, Save As. I'm going to call it, see, now I'm already in the car folder, and there I see my wheel model. So now i got to go um, chassis. C H A S S I S chassis. Save. And then the final step is to assemble. You're going to go file new standard I A M create place chassis first. It's the largest part. Open. Click. Hit escape. Immediately right click and ground it. Now that it's grounded, place wheel. One, two, three, four. Hit escape. Go to the constraint tool and use the fourth tool, the insert tool. You select the inside edge of your wheel, select the very innermost section of your wheel well, and apply. You do that four times. So you're going to select the inner part of your wheel and select the inside of the wheel well, click, and then apply. Now, if you happen to accidentally escape out of the constraint tool, just remember, you can flip it a car around, and then you select constraint. Again, I recommend you rotate a little. Use the fourth tool over, insert, click. Select the innermost part of the wheel. And the inside of the wheel well, good, and apply. Innermost part of the wheel, innermost part of the wheel well, and apply. And the final step is to give it a nice view. So you go view. That's in the middle. Under or the word orthographic, you'll find perspective, visual style, realistic. Maybe put shadows on. Select all shadows. And then I like reflections and ray tracing and maybe even zoom in. It looks very nice, right? Like, like it is. Mm. I don't know how long this video is taken, but there are other fun things to do.